few giant trees push up through the canopy to make the emergent layer. This is the tallest part of the rainforest. Some of these trees can be over 200 feet tall. The leaves are very small, otherwise the sun's rays would dry them out. Lots of birds live in the emergent layer where they can easily fly from tree to tree. Sometimes monkeys, sloths, and iguanas climb to the emergent layer to soak up some sun and dry off. They have to be very careful though or giant harpy eagles will catch them. Have you ever seen a bird that goes 50 miles per hour? The enormous harpy eagle can. It is one of the largest birds in the world. They are so big they can spread their wings six feet wide. The harpy eagle's talons are as big as a bear's claw. The harpy eagles live in the emergent layer. They hunt in the emergent layer in the canopy. These eagles don't soar overhead looking for prey. Instead, they sit in a tree waiting. They can sit on a branch for 23 hours and then when it sees its prey, it tips sideways and goes for it. Even though they are huge, they are great flyers and can zip between the branches at blinding speeds to snatch their prey. They eat monkeys, sloths, iguanas, and other birds. Because nighttime is not as hot as the steamy days, many rainforest creatures are nocturnal. That means they sleep during the day and come out at night. The cool nights help them save energy. In fact, nighttime is more active than daytime in rainforests. Small rodents come out, as well as wild pigs, kinkajous, bats, frogs, and snakes. The big predators also come out at night, trying to sneak up on their prey in the darkness. The jaguar is the biggest cat in South America. They live on the forest floor and climb into the understory to hunt. The beautiful spots on their fur make them hard to see in the shady forest floor. They are the top predator of the rainforest, so they eat all kinds of animals like monkeys, sloths, birds, and wild pigs. Jaguars hunt at night when it is easier to sneak up. They have soft padded paws to walk silently. Their long whiskers help them feel things in the dark. They also have excellent hearing and a fantastic sense of smell to find their prey. Jaguars have very powerful teeth. Their name means he who kills with one bite. If you walk into a rainforest at night, you might hear a rustling sound in the trees above you. If you shine a flashlight up there, you just might see the glowing eyes of a kinkajou looking down. Kinkajous are fascinating creatures. They are nocturnal and can see in almost total darkness because of their enormous eyes. They live in the canopy and understory where they find the fruit and flowers that they eat. Even though they look kind of like a monkey, they are actually related to raccoons. A kinkajou's tail is extremely strong. They can wrap it around branches to hold them up while they dangle and eat fruit with their hands. Did you know that bats are only flying mammals? They are. Their wings are really just super long fingers with a skin stretched in between them. Fruit bats are nocturnal. That means they sleep in the day and are active at night. They use echolocation to know where they are flying in the dark. Fruit bats eat ripe fruit and drink nectar from flowers. They have an excellent sense of smell to find their fruit. Fruit bats are very important to the rainforest because they pollinate flowers that open at night. And they help to spread seeds. It's an emerald tree boa. They have bright green colors with blotches of white to blend into leaves. These giant snakes are nocturnal, so they sleep all day coiled up on a branch. Then at night, they hang down from a branch by their tail and wait for an animal to come by. They have heat-seeking pits near their nose that helps them find food. When something comes by, they strike and then squeeze it to death in their coils. Mmm, nothing like a tasty kinkajou once in a while. 
Emerald tree boas can eat things much bigger than their head. They have stretchy tissue between their jaws so they can stretch it around big prey and swallow it whole. It would be like us swallowing a whole watermelon in one bite without using our hands.